Today I'm taking a look at the Darth Maul on the Bloodfin Speeder Star Wars Funko Pop from the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and this is the Darth Maul on the Bloodfin Speeder Star Wars Funko Pop from the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace wave of Funko Pops that just released recently. So I have picked up two of the ones from the, the wave. So I got the Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Jar Jar. I did reviews on both of those. And of course I got this one. This is the one that I saw when I saw it revealed. I needed to get this one. I don't like how it's in the bigger packaging because I feel like they're kind of charging us for the quote unquote deluxe price. Even though I have suspicions that it could fit in a, a standard size Funko Pop box. But we'll, we'll check that out in a minute. Uh, but let's take a look at the packaging. So I love the packaging on these Phantom Menace Funko Pops, the 25th anniversary Phantom Menace Funko Pops, because it's very reminiscent of the 1999 Phantom Menace three and three quarter inch figures that had that red uh, starburst background with the gold uh, accents on it. So really love the packaging on this one. So uh, Darth Maul in on the on the Bloodfin speeder or the Sith speeder as what it was called before. Uh, is uh, number 705 in the series. So that's the front of the box there. Big window for you, get, you to see it, for all you inbox collectors to see your uh, your prized possession, Darth Maul. Uh, there's the side of the packaging there. You got a little image of the Darth Maul there. There's the back of the box. You got a really nice image of the Funko Pop there on Tatooine. You got the rest of the Funko Pops in the wave. So I still have to get the, uh, the Anakin and the Padme and the Battle Droid. Um, so need to get those ones. I'm skipping out on the Watto for various reasons. Um, and then there's the other side of the box and the top of the box there, but let's get this guy out of the packaging and we will take a closer look at him. Alright, so there is Darth Maul on the Bloodfin speeder, the Sith speeder, and I think he looks, looks absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. I love my Darth Maul anything. I, I'm, I could be a little bit biased here, but I do, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Darth Maul, and I think Darth Maul, he is my favorite character after all, but I think he looks absolutely fantastic. Just, I think Funko did an incredible job with this one. They usually do a really great job with these uh, these pop rides, and I'm just loving the look of him. Like the him sitting on the the little speeder there with the the wind blowing his cloak on both sides. Um, the speeder's kind of kicking up some dust at the back there with uh, some some clear acrylic, which I love the use of that that kind of almost hazy, smoky looking clear acrylic, um, frosted acrylic. I don't know what you would call it, but it's made to look like the smoke coming up from the dust afterwards so I, I love that look that looks absolutely phenomenal that looks like a great job and I love I love the scale of this guy now I've seen some other reviews and other people mention that that he he looks like he's on a little a little toy ride one of those mechanical rides for kids um but Funko Pops it's, it's just a style of Funko Pop like if he was standing up his body is the right size and Darth Maul's Sith speeder, his Bloodfin speeder in the actual movie, wasn't as big as, like, the speeder bikes, for example. So it was a shorter speeder. So I feel like the scale is proper. It's just, it, it looks a little bit funny to uh, some people because the size of the head. Because the head's big, like, oversized for the body, which is the style of the Funko Pops. Which, which is part of the charm, which is why I like these Funko Pops, right? That's why we all collect them, because of the, the style, the big head, the small body, and stuff like that. Um, but, no, I, I think I think the scale is perfect, like, for this guy. And I'm kind of curious. I, I do think I do think this could have fit in a, a standard size Funko Pop box if, um, if it was angled or something. So I, I feel like Funko collectors, if you guys are collecting this guy... We could we probably got ripped off. I think I think it could have fit in a, a standard size Funko Pop box. I do have a box I could try and put it in, to just to to see if it would fit properly. So I may do that in a minute. But just uh 
just overall, this, this Funko Pop is fantastic. I love all the details. Like I said, the the illusion of motion with the the dirt and the smoke underneath the speeder as it's speeding down uh, the sands of Tatooine. Um, his robes on his sleeves and and his uh, the bottom of his robes both flowing back in the wind as he's speeding away. And just a great job overall. I love my Darth Maul Funko Pops and this one is no exception. This might be one of my favorite Darth Maul Pops now. Um, it's very, very close. I might have to do another top five Darth Maul Funko Pops at some point. Let me know if you guys would like to see that one. Um, but let's see if this guy fits in a standard size Funko Pop box. All right, so I know it's not a Phantom Menace Funko Pop box, but it's the only one I had laying around since I did do a couple reviews. I filmed a couple reviews at the same time. Um, so I did have this box laying around, but you can see if they angled him in properly and obviously he wouldn't be sitting that low He'd be sitting a little bit higher up with the uh, with the bubble the plastic bubble holding him in place They could have fit him. They could have easily fit him in a, a standard size Funko Pop box So I kind of feel like we got ripped off with the price um, I Obviously Darth Maul being my favorite character I bought him anyways, but uh, if you guys are are kind of looking out for those deals and stuff, um, I understand why you wouldn't buy him because you know it's standard. It's pretty much a standard size Funko Pop um, that they could have fit in a standard size box and charged us fifteen bucks instead of closer to forty at some places. So, um, but I'm happy with the the Funko Pop. Either way, it's an incredible Funko Pop, and I'm just really, really happy to have this one in my collection. It looks freaking incredible. Uh, great job, Funko, on this one. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Darth Maul on the Bloodfin speeder, the Sith speeder. Let me know what your thoughts are on this Funko Pop down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.